Hi there, John Simcoe here of Hurley to Rise. You can find my blog at yorkdispatch.com and look in the blog zone section. Today I am talking, going to be talking about the helmets that you use for hurling. This helmet here is a hockey helmet. Take a look at it. This, actually, this helmet is actually about 10 years old, maybe even a little older, and has a very thick face mask and very thick helm, very thick padding. The hurling helmet, you can see, is much smaller. Has a face mask that is provides for a clearer field of vision, and most importantly, if you look inside. The padding on the two are extremely different. The padding on a hurling helmet is thin. I mean, like, barely enough that you find dishes wrapped in in, the, uh, in a store for, that you get right out of the box. This padding is really thin, and the helmet itself is rigid. It reminds me a lot of a helmet that you would get for, like, kayaking or something like that. It provides mostly protection from getting hit with a hurl and very little beyond that. In uh, hurling, you can, you can uh, be hit in the head, maybe even get hit by some balls every once in a while. This helmet is actually just a little bit too small for me, uh, so I had to order a new one. That's why I still have the tag on it. The other thing is, is I can feel it is extremely tight on me. And you can see that it just barely fits me. My ears jut out from the side. And since I'm a glasses wearer, I have to always adjust my glasses and wipe sweat off them and stuff like that. And the helmet is so tight that I, I can't even move it around a little bit. So that is a hurling helmet. Please be sure to check out my web blog at yorkdispatch.com and look under the blog zone for Hurley to Rise.